now let us do the next part we have already done the question number uh, one and two so now we are uh, design a dfa which accepts even number of zeros and even number of ones so this is slightly tricky as compared to the first two questions the number of ones should be zero the number of one should be even and number of zeros should be even right so what i mean to say is we can have a string like this which is epsilon where there are zero ones and zero zeros so this is even we can have a string which is 0 0 1 1 we can have 1 0 1 0 we can have 1 1 0 0 we can have 1 0 0 1 we can have 0 1 1 0 right so this is uh, for the number of ones and number of zeros both are even we can have even two zeros because number of ones are even number of zeros are also even we can have four zeros we can have six zeros in the same way we can have even ones we can have like this also why because the number of zeros here are zero and number of zeros here are zero number of ones are even right so number of zeros and number of ones they, sh they are independent of each other but they are saying the number of ones should be even as well as number of zeros should be even so to draw this dfa first of all let us try to identify what are the different cases which we can get see there are multiple ways of drawing this i will discuss about all these different ways uh, in the next coming videos but for this simplicity let us uh, draw it here uh, in the simplest manner possible here uh, this is number of ones number of zeros and number of ones that means what are the possibilities number of zeros can be even number of ones can be even both can be even number of zeros can be even number of ones can be odd number of zeros can be odd number of ones can be even and both of them can be odd these are the four possibilities for these combinations right so this is the first possibility number of ones and number of zeros both are even here it is even odd here it is odd even and here it is odd and odd right so we need to make states to represent all these four conditions or we can say all these four cases let us assume that we are going to make a state a for representing even even we are going to state make state b for representing even odd we are going to make state c for representing odd even and we are going to make state d for representing odd odd so let us write we are going to have four states here state a state b state c and state d state c and state d i think it is not visible let me uh, write above so here we are going to have four states so we can have state a we'll be having state b we'll be having state c and we'll be having state d we'll, we are having state c and state d okay now let me just uh, 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 say it again because I think some of this part is not visible. So state A is representing the number of zeros and number of ones both are even. State B is saying number of zeros are even, number of ones are odd. State C is saying that number of zeros are odd, number of ones are even. And state D is saying both the number of zeros and ones are odd. Where the first is for zero, second is for one. So initially what will be the initial state you can clearly see that if we have a symbol epsilon if we have a symbol epsilon in case of epsilon number of ones and number of zeros both are uh, even that means both are uh, zero because zero is an even number okay so we are going to start with epsilon so that means the initial state will be a because a is representing even even and even even is epsilon is also even okay now at state a if you get get at least one zero that means number of zeros are odd and if you get one one that means number of ones are odd so this is represent this state is representing number of zeros are odd and number of ones are even this is representing number of zeros are even number of ones are odd from initial state that means if we are having a string of length 0 and we are getting single 1 now in this case you can see number of 1s are odd and number of 1s are number of zeros are even but if you get single 0 that means number of 1s are even number of zeros are 
odd. So we are moving and making a transition to state B and state C. Now, if we are at state B, again we are going to get one one. That means again, if you get a one, then you can clearly see that we are getting two ones. So number of ones become even. And if you are at state C, again if you get one more zero, that means number of zeros are also going to be even. Now state C, after state C, if you get one more zero, for example, from we are moving from state A to state C, and at state C we are getting one, that means we get a string which is zero one. If you get a string which is zero one in this zero case, so number of zeros are odd, and number of ones are also odd. So by reading the first zero, we are making a transition from state A to state state C. By reading the second one, because we know that number of ones are also odd, so we have to make a transition to state D. Because why we are going to reach to state D? Because if the number of zeros and number of ones both are odd, then only we can reach state D. Again, at state B, if we get one more zero, then the number of zeros are odd. At state D, why we are at state D? Because number of one and number of zero both are odd. Now, if we get one more zero, that means number of zero will become even. If we get one more one, that means number of one will will come even, right? So here in this case, you can clearly see we need to accept we need to accept accept even number of zeros and even number of ones. And only state A is representing even number of zeros and even number of ones. Therefore, state A will become a final state. State A will become a final state. So this DFA is representing the language where number of zeros and number of ones both are even. Where number of zeros and number of ones both are even. You can draw this diagram. It is very easy and uh, it is clear. See, there are different uh, methods to do the same question, but um, I have taken this one. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me clear this up and let me show you one more method how you can do the same question. Uh, I think that will be easier for you because that is more of a mathematical way of doing the same question. Because it is see uh, in uh, drawing these DFAs is totally based on your aptitude. So and at sometimes they are mostly mostly they are based on your aptitude. If you are good with your aptitude, then you can easily do these questions. Okay. So let me draw. Uh, uh, let me do the second way of solving the same question. So, what is the other way of doing the same question? Here they are saying design a DFA which accepts even number of zeros and even number of ones. Let us do one thing. Let us design a DFA which accepts just even number of zeros. DFA, a DFA for even number of zeros. Even number of zeros. कैसे बनेगा? How we can make it? Initial state is a. Number of zeros are even at a, so a will be a final state. Now, if you get now any number of one doesn't matter because we are not counting the number of ones. We are only counting the number of zeros. So if you get a zero, then the number of zeros are odd. If you get one more zero, then the number of zeros are even. And again, here we are not counting the number of ones. So this is DFA for counting the even number of zeros. Again, we can make a DFA. We can make a DFA for even number of ones. We can make a DFA for even number of ones. How we can do it? We are going to make a state C. We are going to make a state C like this, which is initial state as well as final state because number of ones are even. We are not counting any number of zeros. We are only counting number of ones. So as soon as we get one, so we are, we are making a transition to state D because number of ones are odd. As soon as one more one, number of ones are even again, and we can have any number of zeros. Okay. So this is just for DFA for even number of zeros and DFA for even number of ones. In both the cases, you can clearly see that we are not considering here. We are not considering the number of ones, and here we are not considering the number of zeros. And here in this question, they are asking that both of them should be, both of them should be even. So the second way, you can do one thing. You can make take a cross product of the, of the states here. For example, we have state A, B, C, and D. So if we have state A and state B in first DFA, we have a state. C and state D in second DFA. Take a cross product. 
then you are going to get a c a d b c and b d a c a d b c and b t that means we are going to get four states draw this four states so the states are a c a d b c and b d a c a d b c and b d now in this original dfa what are the initial state it is a and c so a c so a c will become an initial state in the original dfa what are the final states a and c both are the final states so therefore a c will become a final state a c will become a final state now we need to give the transitions we need to give the transition so let us take the first state we will follow the same procedure for the other states for example the first state is a c a and c if you give a 1 to a c if you give 1 to a that means we are moving from a to a if you give a 1 to c that means we are moving from c to d so it is a d again from state a c if you are giving a 0 if you are giving a 0 to a that means you are making a transition from a to b if you are giving a 0 to c 0 to c that means we are making a transition to c so we are making a transition from ac to ad and ac to bc as uh, by looking at the in uh, this symbols which is zeros and ones so ac if you give 1 to ac that means you are going to go to state ad if you give 0 to ac that means you are going to go to state bc again check for the state ad again check for the state ad if you give 1 to a then you are going to go if first state ad if you give 1 to a then you are making a transition from a to a if you give 1 to d that means you are making a transition from d to c that means from ad we are making a transition to ac by looking at a 1 again the next state is bc for bc if you give 1 to b then you are making a transition from b to b if you give 1 to c 1 to c then we are making a transition from c to d so we are making a transition from bc to bd again check for again for ad if we give 0 to a that means we are making a transition from a to b if we give 0 to d we are making a transition from b to d okay so this is bd for 0 in the same way you can draw the complete dfa you can follow the same procedure and you are also going to get the same diagram you are again going to get the same diagram right so this is the second way of drawing the same